you've got a quarter time. Yeah, we knew we didn't play that well in the first quarter. Geelong, to their credit, they're always hard to beat, and that's what we've seen. Um, and the key stat for us at quarter time was our tackles were up, so our pressure was there, but we'd had 10 ground balls to their 30. They were just getting to the ball first, so we, that was the thing that we had to address. It's pretty simple as a coach get to the ball first. The same as obvious, but the girls responded really well to that message. And from that part of the game, didn't feel like we dominated, but we sort of did have control of the game from that point on. Do you feel like that you, uh, what was the message you called at time to ensure the floodgates open because the Cats hardly scored after that? Yeah, it was, it definitely wasn't, that wasn't the plan at that stage. We knew the way they play that they're a really hard team to score against. And it's the way that we play is that we tend to score more late in games as they do open up. Uh, our fitness, we feel, is really, really good. Um, so we're always happy if we're close enough or if we can just get a little bit in front that we can outrun sides. And if we needed to get the ball to the outside to be able to do that, and we couldn't do that in the first quarter because we weren't getting our hands on it. But once we did, it brought our wings like uh, Cara Dillon and Steph Kane and Mel Caulfield into the game, and that's when we look at our best. Must be thrilled, I guess, with the balance of that. Um, you know, defence not having scored after half-time and, and yet to be able to um, open up a bit of percentage as well. Yeah, I'm not sure how the percentage is going to play out for us if we're going to need it or not, but it was good to have a win. Uh, it was quite a, the 19 scoring shots to three probably is a little bit false because we kept missing, which kept the ball in that area. If we had a scored a couple more goals, Geelong probably had a chance to go the other way. So it wasn't like a 19 scoring shot to three game, I don't think. They had more of the ball than us overall. Um, it's just be, our forwards did a great job in keeping the ball in that area, even though we probably missed a few more than we'd like. Good to hit the scoreboard late and push forward and sneak goals. Yeah, always. Um, I think that's what we want our midfields doing is chipping in to help the forwards and relieve that pressure from them to do all the leg work. So yeah, it's always good to tick that box off. Trent, um, yeah, it's just such a hotly contested race up, up the top of that conference. A um, just really important win today. Yeah, we lost one game um, against Adelaide, and then everyone's been. A final. If we had lost any of them, we would have been out. So it's been good for us to play under that pressure, um, and it you know builds some good resilience amongst the group. We get to play North Melbourne next week. I feel sorry for North Melbourne because they've done nothing wrong at all, and they have to come across to Fremantle and play in a tough environment in basically a final as well. So we're both in the same boat, but we get the home ground advantage. So uh, yeah, we're happy to be in that situation. Must be really impressed with Kiara Bowers. 19 tackles doesn't come around every day. She slowed down. She had 17 at three-quarter time. She, uh, I think she started getting her hands on the ball a fair bit, so didn't have to tackle. Uh, she's a machine. Um, it, and what's great, she's a brilliant player, but it's, she's so good for our younger players coming in. So Matilda, Matilda Sargent comes in the midfield and she sees the standard that um, Kiara and Dana Hooker set with their pressure. I think Dana had double figure tackles again as well. So our, our young girls who are learning off them know that it's not just about getting the footy, it's the defensive side of the game as well and we've got great role models through there uh, for those younger players. What's the early word on the, the knee injury there? Yeah, so definitely a knee injury. Um, not sure hasn't been diagnosed yet. We'll get scans. Um, fingers crossed that it's uh, not the worst news. Uh, if it is, we'll get around. Alex, she's one of the best people in our in our club, um, and yeah, fingers crossed that it's not uh, the worst news. Um, but if it is, we'll get around her. Yeah, I, I think she got a stinger, which hurt the nerve, but she was signing autographs fine, so I, I think she's all right to go. Okay.